So this is, um, I'd just like to say a massive thank you to um, my very last book subject, certainly for a while, Junior the Hitter Witter. Um, absolute pleasure to work with, did everything I've asked. Um, yeah, really, um, the guys had uh, quite a raw deal with the press. Um, and I, I'm looking forward to this book going out. And when people will read it, they'll be like, well, I didn't think he was like that. Because, of course, when you think of Junior Witter, you think of the buddy. He's behind you. Panther Man, villain. Um, you know, brash, abrasive, obnoxious, uncouth. <laughs> Sorry, Junior. But do you know what? The guy has been an absolute pleasure to work with. Um, completed the sport of boxing, didn't he? British Commonwealth European, um, and not only was he a world champion, he was um, the most prestigious of the governing bodies, the World Boxing Council. Um, yeah, you know, he's did everything I've asked of him, and um, when this book is coming out, which I'll be finishing literally this week, um, I'm just going to write the introduction today. Uh, I've got about six or seven people to speak to few few of the boxing faces. Um, I've got to. It's allowed me to speak to a few interesting characters as well. Um, a few of his Ingle clan. Uh, Kid Galahad, Ryan Rhodes. Um, yeah, a few of them. So it's um, it's been interesting for me. But uh, yeah, Junior Witter, last subject certainly for a while. I'm going to be um, writing, Brian, uh, sorry, Mickey Duff's next. Uh, who else next after that? Brian Clough. Um, and the subject knowledge I have for them, for them too, is great. It is, you know, I could literally write a book from just inside my head. Um, so, yeah, Junior, he's, uh, he's just being a breath of fresh air. Uh, I wish everyone could have been like him. Because I have had a few personal issues since I um, decided to take on this project. Um, you know, at one stage the wife was battling cancer and beat it, touch wood. Um, well, so, I mean, I even had a, a Osman Warren at the start of the year. I don't know why I'm laughing. Uh, yeah, two detectives come and said, you know, there's a serious threat to your life. Um, and, and you know what? When I've told him these things, he said, look. I understand family comes first. Um, well, you could, but you know, when certain people in the past I worked with would have been different. So the guy, um, you know, we were in the Bradford paper the other week and there was a massive response, um, a positive response, may I add. Um, so when, when we are going to do all the things together, the talk sports, all the uh, several more papers, Boxer News, Boxer Monthly, um, yeah, that, that, that piece in the Bradford paper last week taught me, um, that he's greatly well got, um, which is good, you know, it's always, it's always good when you're, you're trying to sell a book, it does help if people like you, um, but you know what, if there's people out there who don't, listen, this book is, there's enough in this book about what went on in the Ingle gym and, oh, God, um, what else? The, you know, the ins and outs of British boxing, the, the, the skullduggery, the filthy business that it is. Um, Junior was Mayweather's number one mandatory for nine months and then Floyd paid the WBC an extra three months for an extension. So he was mandatory, number one mandatory to Mayweather for a year. Um, and of course, there's a chapter, uh, I'm not going to give any clues, but it's titled My Mate Ricky. Um, so, yeah, the, you know, but yeah, listen, The Avoided, Junior Winter, written by myself, Jamie Boyle. The forward's been done by um, Sky Sports Face, uh, former world champion and stable mate of juniors, Johnny Nelson. Um, yeah, I've still got to speak to a few other people like Frankie Gavin and Alex Morrison and um, a few other Ingle names. But yeah, Junior, thank you, mate. You've been an absolute um, pleasure to deal with. And I don't say that lightly, um, because there's a few people I certainly would have wished I'd have left them under the rock, pardon the pun. Um, 
But yeah, absolute pleasure, mate. And uh, I look forward to our journey together when the book's out. And uh, all the, all the be very best. And I hope, and let me just take my author hat off for a minute. Um, you know, speaking on a personal level, getting to know you. I, I would like the people who read this forthcoming biography to see the junior witter that I see that Spencer Fearon told me seen the other day. Um, you know, because at the minute, you know, you you went along with a lot of scripts. You know, Sky Sports told you to turn up at Ricky Hatton's post-fight interview. But the world would have thought, what a bastard. Do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, the real story of Radford's um, most successful person ever. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, not sportsman, just... Certainly the, probably the biggest celebrity to come out of Bradford, Junior with a, his biography is coming soon.